Welcome back, everybody. Today, what I want to do is take you through a brand new workflow pack, which I've just released. Uh, we built it all on the live stream. If you haven't seen the live streams, you should definitely check out the live streams. Also, in the description, there is a link to join our Discord. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button, because YouTube ain't going to tell you. Won't be a mistake. Join Discord. We're going to take a look at Skyreel's ITV workflow pack. So I put together an article which is just explaining quickly the everything you need to know about how to get Skyreels installed. So the first thing to note is it's based on Hun Yuan video. So that means you're going to be using the clip and VAE from Hun Yuan video. So what if you already have that set up, you don't need to download new clip and VAE models. It's the same ones. You can also use Guff. I use Q8 for the Skyworks uh, Skyreels V1. It, uh, it does a really good job with image to video. We put together a bunch of uh, workflows. OK, so you've got the basic where you type in your prompt and you just give it an image. We've got a more advanced version, which has an auto prompt using Quen VL. And then we also have the new Go With The Flow LoRa. OK, and the Go With The Flow LoRa, it's all linked. You can see it right here. So you get the, the LoRa, you load it with the Skyreels ITV main model. OK, like I said, the workflows are super easy. You just drop them in latest version comfy and you'll have no problems. I've shown you where you've got to put it. Just put the Jajuf in the diffusion models and then put your other one in the LoRa's and that's it. You will need good video to drive your motion when you're using Go With The Flow. It's video and image to video. OK, when you're using the, uh, the, the Quen or the basic, it's just image to video. Uh, if you type in a basic prompt, which is like what you want to see, it pretty much does nail it. Um, and then obviously the Quen VL is going to help fatten that out. But I do still recommend you do like a pre or a post prompt. And of course, there is a Civit AI release, but this was like a placeholder. I'm still actually cooking up my first batch of video renders. I'm going to type up some more information about this workflow pack as well. You can obviously find it on my DJZ workflow. So if you're a Git cloner, you can just do Git clone uh, and you'll find Skyreels in there. Uh, there's also a run pod. So if you don't have a GPU and you're not a local guy, you can still have fun with this new model. Of course, if you're a user of my run pods, they've all been updated just recently. We now have RVC voice cloning. We have one trainer and Koya SS for doing LoRa trainings on image models. We have Comfy Flux, which is quite popular. A lot of people seem to keep using that. We've also got Skyreels V1, which is what we're looking at tonight. It doesn't have the the new more lore emotion. I think it's just Skyreels at the moment, but I will be adding that. Uh, and then you've also we've got Yeah Llama, Hunyan Video, Mochi, and LTX. So if you're a RunPod person, we got a bunch of these, and you can find the links for them on my GitHub. So if you go to my GitHub. You'll be able to find them under repositories in RunPod in it. There's links to all of the uh, current RunPods that we have. OK, I'm not going to spend too long going over it because we've already done a video on that. Just look back in the history and you'll find it. OK, so taking a look at the actual model, it's pretty impressive. OK, but like I said, I'll have more results to show you guys most likely tomorrow. So come back to the Civit AI page and you'll see uh, uh, more examples tomorrow. And that is just about everything I got for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.